Good morning traders from the UK. It's Mark Barclays standing in for Brad Gilberts for the Daily Market Insight for the 10th of October 2018. Using the traders uh, for traders daily routine, we're going to take a look at what happened yesterday and what's moving the currencies around and what to expect today and finally uh, have a look at trading opportunities if there are any for the rest of the week. So let's have a look at the hourly charts for the majors. Quick run through. Uh, the euro is uh, had a, a pretty big rally yesterday, along with the uh, sterling and the Aussie and also the Kiwi. They all had a, a fairly big rally yesterday. Uh, the CADs um, yeah, dipped uh, pretty much yesterday and also the, uh, the dollar yen is basically trading sideways, but it's got a slight, slight uptrend on it but uh, generally trading sideways uh, and the Swissy well that's just trading sideways and not being affected too much by the current situation uh, the dollar is obviously that's the big change today big dip on the dollar so why have the, uh, the currencies moved well a quick overview uh, there's very little fundamental data releases during the first few days of the week and in fact there aren't actually that many this week at all uh, the currencies have basically been moving essentially on news from each of the currencies. The Chinese yuan seems to take a temporary back seat. But yesterday really saw the halting of the US dollar rally, albeit it's probably uh, only temporary, but it will need a catalyst to halt the US, the US dollar downside dip. But this was caused by relief rallies on the euro, sterling, uh, the Aussie and the Kiwi. So let's take a look at what happens to the currencies. Okay, let's have a look at the euro. The euro essentially followed the, the sterling. It's boosted by the same uh, news about an early Brexit deal uh, coming together, causing similar volatility as sterling during these talks, along with any sporadic news about Italy. Uh, this was the big mover. The Sterling was the big mover of the day. Uh, as Barnier came out saying that there could be a Brexit agreement as early as Monday, which caused the 100 pip move to the upside. Uh, sterling is driven by news of Brexit and is overriding the fundamentals, which aren't that positive. Uh, so volatility remains pretty constant on the sterling. The Aussie looked like it jumped on the back of the weakening dollar uh, and found an excuse to halt the downside that's been uh, prevalent over the last few weeks. Um, this is most likely uh, temporary and as the long-term outlook on the Chinese yuan is to the downside uh, it's probably a good time to start looking for good levels to short again if the US dollar starts to rally again. And the Kiwi had a similar 70, uh, oh, sorry, a 60 to 70 pip rally also against the dollar. US dollar CAD uh, essentially in a short-term sideways range but the CAD strengthened against the dollar. And the yen continued to see money flow flowing into the yen because of the fears of the one depreciation and also the US tariff threats to China, which is causing the dollar to weaken even further. And uh, the Swissy, well, that remains pretty much unaffected at this point. Um, surprising that uh, money hasn't flowed into the Swiss as it's a safe haven. Uh, so there's a potential on that one as well at some point or another and uh, it could just continues to trade in the tight range since about uh, the 3rd of October. The US dollar, well that was the big, that was also the big mover. Uh, the dollar took a hit virtually, and this took a hit virtually on all the other currencies strengthening against the dollar. Uh, it was added to by Mr. Trump who also chimed in to exacerbate the situation, iterating that he didn't like what the FOMC or the Fed were doing and reminded people that the Mexican wall will be built. So that that increased the, uh, the, the dip on the dollar during the day. Okay, so what can we expect today? Well, today could be pretty quiet. Uh, or traders try and work out which way to go. Uh, whilst there's not much economic data out this week, today sees uh, the sterling GDP month on month and the manufacturing product figures. So if that comes out strong, then you can expect to see the sterling rally giving more weakness to the dollar. Uh, also, uh, the US dollar PPI later today, 
again watch out for these as weaknesses here could drive the US dollar even lower so are there any trading opportunities this week well um, pretty much uh, the majors are correlating uh, however that doesn't mean that it's, uh, it's a good trading day um, so overall it looks like it's a wait and see day with uh, little certainty anywhere if I can use the word certainty so if we're going to try and trade with the market we need to see what the um, what the dollar is going to do first before we can make any any decisions on what to trade so uh, pretty quiet day today by the looks of it um, obviously the economic data from uh, sterling coming out is one to watch and uh, possibly tradable um, but today looks pretty quiet so that's it for today hope you all have a peaceful day and remember to stay safe and protect your capital